Hello, my name is Nitin. Today, I am at Spiag in Zurich to test the latest version 1.2 of Spiag's 5G module. I am quite curious, especially uh, as I would have never imagined that a system using probes with diode loaded sensors would be able to measure power density in the near field at millimeter wave frequencies. The 5G module uh, consists of the novel pseudo vector uh, probe called the EUMM WV2 probe, which covers a frequency range from 750 megahertz to 110 gigahertz and a very advanced reconstruction algorithm to derive the phase from the polarization amplitudes. The probe has two sensors on a planar substrate. The sensors are rotated with respect to each other by 90 degrees. The combination of both allows to also compute the magnetic field and the power density distributions. I will now evaluate one of the antennas that had been selected as a validation source by the IEC JWG12 standard group, namely the 60 gigahertz cavity fed dipole array. Before any measurements can be performed, the position of the 5G phantom is taught to the system by the three teaching points P1, P2 and P3. The three points define the orientation of the measurement plane. In version 1.2, this plane can also be tilted. As you see, I perform the teaching and testing of the scan setting with a dummy probe as the EUMM WV2 probe is very expensive and fragile. Next, we attach the real probe to the data acquisition electronics followed by mounting the probe cup with absorbers onto the assembly. I then remove the protective cover carefully. We are now ready to create a project in the DAISY 6 software. To create the project, we enter the dimensions of the device under test. In our case, the dipole array with the dimensions 20 mm into 20 mm followed by the test distances, so 2 and 10 mm. We also have to specify the communication system. In this case, it is continuous wave. The dipole array device is positioned on the phantom and we now teach the surface of it in the center of the device to the robot system. This point is used as the initial center for the fast scan. In this version of 5G module, we have two types of scans, the regular 5G scan and the new fast scan. The fast scan is a quick single layer scan over the area of the DUT and it gives the radiation pattern as well as the location and number of peaks. For unknown devices for which the location of the antenna is not obvious, this allows to quickly determine the location of the radiating elements and the extent of the fields in order to optimally place the zoom scan. The 5G scan is a scan with measurements on two planes for each distance, where the lower plane is the evaluation plane. The standard separation of the plane is lambda by 4 and the grid spacing is also lambda by 4. Higher resolutions can be selected by the user. The default settings will allow evaluation of the power density for 1 square centimeter and 4 square centimeter averaging area. But this can also be specified by the user. The probe first measures the fields on two planes with one probe orientation. After the two planes are measured using a single probe orientation, they have to be remeasured for two more orientations. First by rotating the probe by 120 degrees around the probe axis and then by a rotation of 240 degrees. This provides altogether six field measurements per location from which both the amplitude and the polarization can be derived. The measurements are now finished. The 3D display shows the electric field distribution in the measurement planes. The magnetic field, the power density and the average power density can also be visualized in the 3D display. The report from the software lists all of this information in a clear and detailed fashion. The power density measured for this phase dipole array 
is 37.8 watt per square meter averaged over 1 square centimeter. This is very good and only within 0.6 dB from the standard value. The power average is displayed for the normal component and for the total field. As you have seen, the 5G module in DAISY 6 extends the capability of the system to do compliance measurements at frequencies above 10 GHz. To achieve this, only the novel probe and the new software module need to be added to the existing DAISY hardware. Furthermore, the system is compliant with the IEC technical report 63170 and is the first solution that has been accepted by the FCC. At the moment, Spiag estimates that the uncertainty is better than 1.4 dB. I must admit, I am impressed by the elegance of the solution, allowing measurements as close as 2 mm from any surface. I also learned that Spiag currently develops the software version 2 that shall be released this summer. The main new feature is that it will estimate the worst case power density for worst case phase combinations based on measurements only. Actually, this would imply that simulations will not be needed for compliance tests anymore. Other scheduled features include conformal surfaces and combinations of SAR and power density values. This will make the 5G module a universal tool for testing compliance with any regulatory requirements. Thank you for watching this video.